The sun is shining and we need to protect our eyes. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to model some sunglasses for none other than the one and only Default Cube. We're gonna get started today. Uh, the first thing I want to do is hit G Z and move this uh, this bad boy up by one on my numpad. Hit Enter to uh, to confirm that. Middle mouse button to pan around my scene, and we're gonna use the scroll wheel and Shift to pan around like that. Um, I'm gonna hit Shift A, and we're gonna add in a plane, and hit S to scale that up. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and left click that to confirm. Hit tab to go into edit mode, and we're just going to pull this back. We're going to go to the edge select mode. We're going to pull this back piece up by hitting E to extrude and Z to keep it on the Z axis. We'll just do something like that just for a little backdrop. Then I'm going to grab this edge, hit control B to bevel the edge right there, and then just scroll. I don't want to spend too much time on this because it doesn't have uh, anything to do with sunglasses, but we'll just go ahead and scroll that up just so many times just because I don't feel like subsurfing it uh, just so it's a nice smooth transition alright now so for our actual sunglasses I'm gonna hit H to hide that background by the way for our actual sunglasses we're gonna need to go ahead and actually uh, model on default cubes face so we're gonna need to get the dimensions of his actual face so I'm gonna hit shift A and we're gonna add in a plane hit RX 90 on my numpad uh, left click to, to confirm that G Y to move it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, S Z. No, I'm sorry, G Z to move it up, and then S Z to scale it inwards. Now we can do a lot of different styles of sunglasses, but I'm gonna have like a little little triangle here for the nose piece, even though he has no nose. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit Tab to go into edit mode, hit Five to go into orthographic, and one to go into the front facing view. I'm gonna go ahead and then go to the loop cut tool here, right there and go open up this panel. We have to open up this panel now. It's super weird. It used to be up here in the top left-hand corner, but it's not. It's over here in the tool options now. You can actually change the number of cuts, by the way. Somebody asked me about that, and it's over here. They changed it again. I know it's super weird, but just, it's fine, because hopefully it'll stay in a static place once 2.8 actually releases, but for now, it keeps changing around. We're gonna hit click right there, and then we'll just hit SX to scale that inwards. Something about right there, maybe, right there. And then we'll click once more in there, so we have two more. And then I'll go to uh, select the select box right there, so we don't have to keep creating loop cuts. Select this edge right there, still on edge select mode right there. Hit G Y to move it upwards like that. So now we got that little famous sunglass triangle piece in there. Uh, G Z to move that straight up, so you don't have it like off center like that. Uh, now, tab to go out of edit mode. Now, uh, we need to scale this up a little bit, so we're going to hit S to scale it up just a wee bit, so we have those little pieces on the side uh, of his face. Now we can go ahead and go back into edit mode by hitting tab. Uh, select both of these edges by holding down shift. We can select both of those outward edges. Hit E to extrude backwards, but we're going to hit uh, Y to go backwards straight. Um, but I don't want to go all the way backwards, so we're going to go about right uh, actually you know what we will go all the way backwards we'll go all the way back like that uh, like right about right there okay so now we want to go ahead and we can actually mirror this so I think that's what we're gonna do let's actually do this let's, we never use the mirror modifier we're gonna loop cut this once more and change the number of cuts to one we're gonna loop cut right in the middle right there and we're gonna go to vertices select mode and go back to select box B to box select all of these vertices except for the one in the middle right there. So that line we just created, we want to get rid of all of it except for that. So we hit delete vertices. Now we have just the entire uh, side over here and then this this guy right there. So uh, actually let's put this back because I think we just got rid of that by accident. Yeah, we did. Uh, let's do this line over here again. E to extrude, Y to go straight back and like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, so we need a second side of our our sunglasses so we can go to the modifiers tab here add a modifier of mirror and now you can see boom we got that and anything we do over here it happens over there so anything you can do I can okay let's go um, so we can actually go ahead and add in another loop cut right here and then hit G X I'm sorry G Y to move it up and then one more loop cut again, so G Y just to move it up, so we have a little bit of a transition. Once again, you probably get where I'm going with this. Um, we will add in another loop cut. Actually, we won't, but we, we will not do that yet. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to select edge, and we'll just grab this edge, pull it up, G Z to pull it straight up like that. 
Uh, looks good. So now we have the sunglasses going up just the way sunglasses do. And I kind of want a little, little ear pieces here, even though he has no ears, once again. Uh, loop cut, <laughs> G, uh, click right there, then G, uh, Y to move it over, about there. And then we'll go back to select, make sure you're still on edge, grab that edge, hit E, Z to move straight down, and that looks good. So he has no ears, but those are what's keeping us on the head. And don't, don't argue, default cube, he has invisible ears, you just never knew. You never knew, and those are the pieces that are keeping him on right there. Anywho. Uh, now, we could do a lot more stuff with this, but I want these to be a really simple pair of sunglasses. We, you guys always ask me about modeling, and we always, we never do modeling videos. So I figure we'll do something simple to, to start off today. Um, alright, so, with the modifier, we need to add another modifier. This will be the solidify modifier. Now, if we go ahead and zoom in here, you can see if I turn this thickness up and down, you can see we have a nice thickness being added to the sunglasses. Uh, but the problem is, is you can see we have this weird little edge thing here. So if we go ahead and go ahead and check uh, check even thickness. That will get rid of all of that weird inconsistencies that happen sometimes uh, on the uh, with the solidify modifier. All right, so we're actually going to go inwards. So we're going to have this number be a, a positive number uh, about right there until you start seeing those weird artifacts. Just keep going until you see those. <laughs> Um, and that looks pretty good. I don't see any weird artifacts. I think that's a bit too thick, actually. Let's go ahead and thin that out some more. There we go. Looks good. Now, uh, we can go ahead and apply this, but we have to apply it before the mirror modifier. So we're going to apply that solidify modifier. Now, uh, we have the thick sunglasses. If we turn that on and off, you can see it still works. We can go ahead and hit GY to move this up because it's colliding with default cube's face, and we can't have that because his face is precious. We're going to go ahead and hit, uh, actually, a tab to go into edit mode. Up here at the top, you can get rid of this now. Uh, up here at the top, hit this little button to make everything all see through. And hit B to actually go to vertices select mode first. Hit B to box select. We're going to grab all of the vertices over here. And I want to move these closer to his face. So we hit 5, 7 on my, on my numpad to go to the top facing view. We'll kind of just zoom in here. Shift to move around. Shift middle mouse click to move around. Uh, G, X to move this inward. So it's kind of the same amount of distance away from his face there hovering just a little bit um, and now we can go out of uh, edit mode by hitting tab turn that transparency off I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sunglasses once again we'll add a material this material will be the default material that we have default cube for default material um, we're gonna change this from uh, the base color we're gonna change that to ooh, not the actual material we're gonna create that little two icon and then change this to uh, sunglasses right so now when we change this it'll change by itself and it won't be default cubes material and go back to uh, solid viewport shading so we see a bit easier now with this um, in edit mode we can go ahead and create a couple loop cuts so I will loop cut once right there once right there and maybe we'll do once right there and once right there and then I'll select this loop cut with the select tool there by holding down shift and alt we'll move these over by hitting G and X so I'll move it over about right there um, now with this I can go ahead and actually select as you see these loop cuts are not straight across the top they're kinda of diagonal so I can go ahead and hold down shift and alt select that loop cut hit S X 0 and then do the same thing for this guy over here S X no uh, S X 0 same thing for this guy now we have all the ones we need straight. We're going to face select mode and do the same thing. So Alt Shift, hold down. And then with the material, I'll go ahead and add a new material. This material will be a new one. We'll hit that little plus right there uh, and then hit new. This material will be sunglasses white. And then we'll hit assign. Now if we go to render viewport shading, you can see that that is uh, like a brighter white. Now you can see we have that uh, little shine piece there, and you can do this as many times as you want to, too. So you can add more loop cuts over here, do the same thing. And for the sunglasses white, I think we can actually go ahead and get away with doing an emission, and then it'll be a solid white no matter where we're looking. Um, but uh, but yeah, there there it is. Default cube. He's, he's looking good. He's looking stylish. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.